Hey YouTube, Pacific Tack West here. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at the Mossberg Shockwave. So, finally got my hands on this. Uh, Remington makes one, the TAC-14, but really what this is, is this is, um, you know, Mossberg's 14-inch smooth board rifle. I'll probably make the mistake of calling it a shotgun. It is not, it is a firearm. It is registered by the ATF as a 14-inch smooth bore rifle. It did not come with uh, any type of stock or grip, so that's how they uh, they get to work around to where this is not a weapon that requires a tax stamp from the ATF to own. Um, going as long as you can, as long as you live in a state where you can buy this thing, uh, this is actually a pretty cool rifle. Um, great for you know home defense. Um, you know, it's just it's that compact design. Five shots. Um, just wanted to run some rounds through it and. Uh, let you know my first thoughts. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. So the Mossberg Shockwave, this gun is just fun to shoot. Um, being that it's a 12 gauge, shells being the price they are, um, if you're not doing slugs or, or buckshot, you know, it's a pretty inexpensive gun to go out to the range and have, uh, have a good time with. But plus, in looking at the, uh, the overall size of it, um, with a 14 inch barrel, the Raptor grip, um, it's just a great home defense gun in my opinion as well. A couple things that I would uh, recommend though is, if you do not have the, the Talon grip, the, essentially the grip tape for the, the Raptor grip itself. Recommend using uh, gloves. Living in the Pacific Northwest, we get a uh, fog like this where it can uh, you know, make the weapon a little bit wet and being that you only have you know, grip here and grip here, this is not a gun that I'd want to have uh, you know, slip and come up at you or anybody else who's trying to shoot it for that matter. Um, it does accept up to three inch shells um, and again it's just something where um, you know, just a great compact shotgun, five rounds, home defense, um, right of the box, you're good to go, and it's a, it's a real fun gun to shoot. There are a couple aftermarket products you can get for this. One is a side saddle to go ahead and put some shells on the outside of it. You can also get one that has not just a side saddle on it, but also a, a Picatinny rail on top. Um, but again, in terms of overall use for what this I would see as being practical for would be home defense or just taking out to the range, not something you go hunting with. Um, and for that, I would say pretty much right out of the box, um, short of getting, you know, maybe a, a voodoo tactical scabbard or something to hold it in. Um, you know, there's really not much I would want to do to this, except maybe get the, uh, the adapter to, uh, to put in here so that I can accept the, uh, the one and three quarter inch shells and just get a few more rounds in there. Um, you know, less time loading, more time shooting, right? So again, overview, the Mossberg Shockwave 590. So if you have the opportunity to try one of these or even the opportunity to purchase one, um, I'd encourage you to do so. I know where I live, um, they're going back and forth in terms of would Oregon State Police allow you to transfer this or not. Finally, the verdict came down that they will. But again, this is one of those guns that just strikes me as one where they're going to look to figure out a way to get it out of the market. Um, but in the meantime, it is absolutely a fun gun to shoot, one that actually serves a valid purpose as home defense and something that a price point of right around $400, it's not going to break the bank. Um, and coming from Mossberg, I don't know what your experience is, but mine has been a pretty good one. So it had the quality that I would expect, nothing less from Mossberg. So from Pacific Tac West, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Make sure to check back for future uploads.